the Coffee de London Chase is next. And this is quite a long distance one, I think. They're not three miles and two foot, so not that far. 0 to 100, Georgia O'Keefe, the top one for Paul Rhodes, Neo Branova for Martin Lee, the winner last week. Pyrocantha for Graham Cutterbrook, Savinian Seasons, Ryan Costello, Trooper, Craig Beckwith, Tullamore Sloan, Daniel French, Whenever Dragoon, Alex Cherry, Danzig Caramel, and Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers, and Harold Bold for Ryan Costello. So 10 then this time, and called in and away. Very short run to the first. Looks they're all safely over. And it's whenever Dragoon and Neo ran over who are going to dispute the lead. Neo ran over who led pretty much all the way in the win last week. Surprisingly still eligible to run in these hunters this week. And leads by about a neck to whenever Dragoon second. Got back to Savinian Seasons in third and then Georgia O'Keefe is fourth as they get to the second and the and the Cherry Cross gave that one plenty of air. I'm looking towards the back, Tullamore Sloan. He's just the early back marker, but there's a long way to go yet. And Neo run over, and whenever Dragoon dispute the lead. From in third place, George O'Keefe, then Pyracantha, and Civilian Seasons. Vimiero Domini is after that one as they take that plain one, which they're all safely over as well. Jumping nicely, it seems to have been raining just about everywhere in the jump racing this week. And it's still raining here now. With Neo Renova leading over that ditch from Whenever Dragoon second, Georgia O'Keefe third, and Pyracantha fourth. Then Civilian Seasons, and a little bit of a gap to Vimiero Domini and Harold Bold. And then the three of them are up the centre of the track, headed by Trooper with Tullamore Sloan and the green jacketed Danzig Caramel just about the back marker. Over the fifth, then. A mistake there at the back by Tullamore Sloan. See that one just about really getting to last, but Neo run over. He's disputing the lead with whenever Dragoon, not got that clear lead that she got last week. And over that one, jumped it slightly better than whenever Dragoon and went on by about half a length. Horacanthus back in third, and Georgia O'Keefe fourth, and the Ryan Costello pair running together. Harold Bold and Vimiero Dominique, both very similar looking horses as well, as they take number seven. They're all safely over. They're all jumping well at the moment. As they get to the next, and the over and over stood off that a little bit, and whenever Dragoon probably jumped it a little bit better, and may have just landed in front. As they pass the winning post with another couple of circuits to go. You see the dark skies and the grey clouds. It's not a very pleasant afternoon for being at the races, unless you happen to be winning. As they get over that next one, the over and over. And whenever Dragoon disputing the lead as they take this sharp looking turn. With Pyracantha back in third and Georgia O'Keefe fourth. Savinian Seasons fifth. And Harold Bold sixth on the outside of Vimiero Domini. Then Danzig Caramel and finally Tullamore Stone. Over the next they go then. And we're still jumping nicely. Not much to choose between the two leaders. And the over and over on the far side. And whenever Dragoon closest to us, they're matching strides right up towards this next one. Nothing between them at all. With Pyracantha about four lengths back in third, and Georgia O'Keefe tucked in behind that one in civilian seasons. They get to the next, and the over and over just out jumped whenever Dragoon at the water, and it's gone a length clear. With Pyracantha back in third, and Georgia O'Keefe fourth. The water's not changing much now. Once again, there, Neo run over jumped it a little bit better. And whenever Dragoon and the leaders now up to almost two, There's still a mile and a half to go. And over that one, there's a faller at the back. Trooper's gone, so Trooper on ships the pilot. And that one's the first one to depart the race. They get to this next ditch, and this time it was whenever Dragoon that jumped it better as Neo run over was a bit ponderous and gave it a lot of air. And the lead is down to a little, little more than a nose now as they come to the next. And that time the old run over out jump whenever Dragoon. Georgia O'Keefe has just moved momentarily into third. Pyracanth has gone back into fourth. Tullamore Sloan and Danzig Caramel are making significant progress. Then civilian season in Harold Bold, who dropped back a little bit. And Vimiero Domini is now the back marker. With Trooper, the one having departed the race as they make their way towards the final mile as they get over this next one mistake there by 
George O'Keefe, the Paul Rhodes runner. This race named after his Grand National winner of one of the SO6 seasons, probably about four four seasons ago now. And whenever Dragoon leads on the outside of Neo Brunova, Neo Brunova being pushed back into the lead again, and leads by half a length. Neo Brunova got considerably more weight though than whenever Dragoon had made a bit of a serious looking mistake, and that's the first really bad mistake that either of the two leaders have made and could well have knocked a bit of the stuffing out of it. She's fought back and she's about her nose up again from whenever Dragoon. Pyra Canth, the George O'Keefe, Danzig Caramel trying to come out of the pack as they get over the next. Uh, once again, they were over that one okay, and these two leaders are matching strides again. Neo run over on the far side, whenever Dragoon on the near side. The one really running on and making eye catching progress is Danzig Caramel over that ditch into third place. George O'Keefe is sticking on with that one, and suddenly the leading pair are coming back to the pack, and I think they're about to get swallowed up now as Danzig Caramel comes round the outside, and so too does George O'Keefe. Pyrocanther is coming through as well, and suddenly, whenever Dragoon and the Oberon over a beat, and I think, although whenever Dragoon is trying to rally, it's Danzig Caramel in the lead at the fourth last. Danzig Caramel gets over it in the lead from in second place, George O'Keefe, then whenever Dragoon. Neo Brunova's trying to battle on Pyracantha and Tullamore Sloan are still there, forget the rest. It's now Georgia O'Keefe in the lead, lands just about in front, but a better jump by by Danzig Caramel. Danzig Caramel on the near side, Georgia O'Keefe now. Here comes Whenever Dragoon again, and Whenever Dragoon's got back into the lead, what's the jockey just giving that one a bit of a breather? It's Whenever Dragoon who's gone on from Georgia O'Keefe in second, Pyracantha's trying to run in third. Here comes Tullamore Sloan over the second last they go. Remember, there's virtually no running and they come down towards the final fence whenever Dragoon, Tullamore Sloan, Tullamore Sloan lands in the lead, gets away from it well and he's racing towards the line and he's going to take this in fine style Tullamore Sloan hard held wins it whenever Dragoon second, Georgia O'Keefe third then Pyrocanther, Danzig Caramel, long time leader Neo run over and Viniero Domini and Harold Bob the last two to finish as uh, Savinian Seasons was pulled up at the back, I think that's about the fourth time on the trot that one's been pulled up, but it's Tullamore Sloan that takes it a really impressive win. And let's get the connections. It's Daniel French who came second in the Hunter Chase Championship last season. Will be his first Hunter winner of this season though. So Tullamore Sloan for Daniel French the winner. Whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry a brave second. Georgia O'Keefe for Paul Rhodes third. Para Cantha for Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers was fifth.